Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Scorpio for the week starting the 16th of January 2017. Wow, you've been through a lot last week, but you had magic and you hopefully one of the lessons for you to learn was that you are all well, not all, well you're all powerful, but you know, don't let that go to your head, but you are, you know, able to overcome everything and to hopefully you've got an awareness of quite how strong and magnificent you are this week has a couple of restrictions but no doubt they're good for us saturn the lord of responsibility is in your position of finances squaring mars in your position of pleasure indulgence enjoying yourself not caring really just being in the moment and enjoying fun and pleasure and creativity so Saturn is saying, okay, you know, I want you to have fun, but you have to pay attention to your finances. You have to be a bit sensible. And when you've grounded yourself and you've laid the foundations, then you can party like a wildebeest. It does not matter, you know, experience the pleasure that Mars is giving you, but be practical. Don't spend money you haven't got. Don't do something wildly impulsive because actually Mars in that position is saying, pleasure comes from other humans pleasure comes from the simple things pleasure comes from your creativity and, and joy and making love and all those kind of things now the sun is shifting signs and making you feel very much like you want to be in your home you want to be around your family you want to cut you up and cuddle up and get in for the next few weeks and also you may be able to transform your home in some way you want to feel good about your home and the people around you but you're you have an uplifting energy for people in your family. So maybe there's someone in your family that needs that, that upbeat vibe and you're able to deliver. Also on the 20th, we have Pluto, your ruler, in your position of communication, sextiling Venus, the planet of love, in your flirty creative space. You have all of your charm and magnetism when it comes to communicating with loved ones, flirting, and in fact, you have to be careful that people just don't randomly fall for you or think you're flirting with them when you're not doing anything. So, you know, you have a, a really intense energy around you this week and your words are super powerful. Anyway, it all looks very exciting. Have a wonderful week. Love yourself. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening. And please, if you haven't yet, it'd be great if you could subscribe, share, like or comment. Take care, see you next week.